Cyberpunk's map is massive. This allows you to have an abundance of options when playing the game. You want to mainline the main story? You can. You want to roam around and cause chaos? You can. You want to pay for sex? You can. And I'm not joking about that. But just like life, there are consequences for one's actions. If you mainline the story, you may miss out on unique conclusions that come from side missions. And if you pay for virtual punani, your parents might walk in and ask some questions when they see you staring at some anime titties. But what happens when you roam the streets of Night City, ruining everyone's day? In this video, I will be showing what happens when you go on a crime spree in Cyberpunk 2077. Let's get into it. Obviously, the first step is to do something illegal, and I chose, for my first try, to just shoot an unarmed civilian. Had no gang affiliation, nothing. Was just a simple NPC civilian. I got one star from that right off the jump, and there's a maximum star level of four. Then, while I was fighting off the cops that came, because obviously I just shot someone in the head, I quickly, like, cannot state it enough, quickly got more stars. Already, I've killed two cops up to three stars, and it is getting a lot harder. And I did not expect it to get this hard. I'm already up to the max star level after killing three cops. There's now robot cops that come in, there's drones that fly around at you, and as you see, died right off the get-go. So after I gathered myself from that brutal ass-pounding the cops gave me the first time around, I thought, let me commit a different crime, see if things get shaken up a little bit. So I chopped this cop up while on duty with a nice little katana, nice little ginsu knife of the samurai. And I got nothing for it right off the bat. I don't know how I didn't get a star. I don't know how nobody witnessed that, but it was quite shocking. So I thought, all right, let's just go back to a what I know works. So I popped this civilian and still nothing. I was kind of baffled at the entire thing that I've now killed two people in broad daylight and got nothing. So I go for a third one and I finally get a star. And then I proceed to try and mow down more people on the sidewalk to see if I can gain more stars. And sure enough, I got another one for my second kill. You cannot kill children in this game. That's a nice little touch I would I would like to add. I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but then very quickly it ramps up again. I killed another cop, got a three star. The drones start coming in, which these drones are kind of crazy. Uh, they're, for some reason, for me, hard to hit. That could just be because my accuracy is bad, or it may be that they are actually hard to hit, and I'm not alone in this. But then you also got these dudes, which are like hologram flash ninja dudes, and they hit hard, and again, hard to kill, so I died yet again. Attempt number three, I thought... Let's go for a little bit of the overkill factor. Grabbed my shotgun and just started mowing people down on the sidewalk. I picked up two clean kills right there, and I mean, they were just absolutely clean, as in the people had nothing on them. And that gave me two stars right off the bat. So I think the formula is, is however many people you kill on the streets is the amount of stars. You can max out at four. So then I kill another cop, got three stars. This drone's messing my day up, not having a great time with it. Die immediately. Why not? Let's just add to it. But wait, there's more. Now a wild madman's gonna drive down the sidewalk and try to mow people down that way, see if anything else changes. I hit two people, and I'm just gonna keep on going, keep on trying to find more, because I still haven't picked up a star. Third one, I finally got a star. And I don't know why it took three civilians that time, instead of the one as it normally was. Also... I think that's a trash can that is made of titanium. Uh, that guy didn't die from when I hit him with my car. He's made of titanium as well. But then after killing those first three, every person after that, again, gave me another star. As you can see by me now being up to two stars from that other person I ran over. But then as I started driving around, something weird happened. Uh, the drones came out as I had expected. They would be coming out quite soon because, again... I just ran over three people, four people. 
But two stars seems to be where I stalled out on this one. I tried hitting the drones, but they fly just over your roof. Nobody came back on the sidewalks, and no cops showed up for some reason. I mean, it's not like there's now innocent people laying in the streets due to my hands. But I kept trying to drive around to get some attention, to figure out if I could get more stars and see if I could escape. Uh, to no avail, I ended up getting no more stars. In fact, I actually lose the cops right about here and I didn't understand it. But I'm never one to be deterred by failure, so sure enough, I go back to my friendly neighborhood sidewalk and start running people over left and right. I pick up two clean kills yet again, make it three right about there. I actually don't know if that person died because I didn't gain another star, but I'm back to two stars. And my idea this time was hopefully I could get to a spot where the cops would show up and I would be able to run them over. Now I'm at three stars, the cops still aren't showing up, the only cone shows up right here, and that's because it's gang-related activity, but still, no cops. Baffled by the mechanics of the police officers in this, where apparently they come very quickly once the first one's on the scene, but they are very late to showing up. Finally shows up, and I'm gonna start running them over. I'm quickly up to four stars now, and that body acts as a speed bump from hell. And then I turn back around and I keep trying to go and do my normal thing. You know, run people over with my vehicle. Commit vehicular manslaughter. And at some point, my car starts flaming. That point is now. And I kind of get scared because I don't want it to blow up because I don't know what happens when your vehicle blows up. So I got out and I'm just kind of roaming around again, waiting for more cops to show up, trying to find stuff to loot, because I'm a loot whore, and more of the same happens. I'm four stars. I'm at the max level of wanted, but what's going to happen? I'll spoil it for you. I lose them again. I'm at the maxed out wanted level, and I lose the cops while standing in the middle of an intersection surrounded by bodies that I just laid there with the hood of my car. So I figured let's keep trying things. Let's keep ticking things off the good old checklist. Um, stealing cars. You can get stars in GTA for stealing people's vehicles. Uh, if you steal enough of them and steal them frequently enough. I thought maybe this would be some of the same. And I stole one car and immediately got out. I steal another that's literally right behind it. So I'm not switching up my area. I'm just becoming a mass car thief in the 20 feet radius that I'm in, I steal a third one and still nothing. So it was around this time that I decided to give up on the whole stealing cars approach because I realized it wasn't going to work. So I went back to what I know works and I just started spraying off on civilians yet again. And sure enough, I get my stars and this time I wanted to see what happens if you can evade them. So I was preparing myself for a bit of a bigger fight on this one. This cop took forever to kill. The drones showed up at one star, which kind of surprised me. But I thought, hey, I'm always up for the challenge. As I stated previous, failure doesn't deter me from things. I run towards it. Let's figure out what's going to happen. So I'm prepared. I have a ton of healing kits. I am stocked up on ammo and all my weapons, well, the two that I use, because the katana doesn't take ammo, obviously. I'm running around like a madman. I'm trying to play a tactical, throwing flashbangs, throwing grenades, trying to figure out what I can possibly do. At this point, I'm already up to three stars. I've killed two cops, killed a civilian, and took down a drone. And I'm just going to keep trying to pepper them. Uh... In the end, I end up dying in this little alcove to these glitchy bastards, but I'm going to keep trying, keep coming back, and hopefully I can evade them at some point. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you go and check out the rest of my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, hopefully I can see you in the next one. Peace.